So you heard about this thing called a Raspberry Pi. Maybe you got one and you were wondering, what is this thing and what can I do with it? At first, you may have thought that it was some kind of dessert, like I did. <laughs> don't worry, you don't have to feel embarrassed. I made that mistake too. Well, have no fear. In this class, we will get you quickly up to speed on what the Raspberry Pi is and some of its many applications. It is a game changer for coders, makers, prototypers, and electronics hobbyists alike. I am Leah Sam, an electrical engineer, software developer, and university instructor. I have been playing around with the Raspberry Pi since its inception in 2012. Here is what we will cover in this course. You will learn what hardware components are needed to get your Pi up and running, and I will show you how to quickly and easily prep the SD card that holds the operating system for your Pi. We will be using the Raspbian operating system, which is a popular Linux distribution for your Raspberry Pi. Next, we will learn how to work with the GPIO pins or general purpose input output pins on the Raspberry Pi to interface with electronics, components, and sensors. We will then tackle some fun applications like setting up RetroPie, your very own gaming system for all your favorite retro gaming hardware like Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation, and even the Atari for the really nostalgic folks. This will all culminate in making our very own digital assistant a clone of Google Home, which actually uses the Google Assistant API. I will show you how to set it up from scratch, step by step. What's the weather like today? In Benson today, there will be scattered showers with a forecasted high of 60 and a low of 50. Right now it's 60 and cloudy. Which is better, Arduino or Raspberry Pi? Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, you'll have to wait to take the course to hear the answer to that one. No previous programming or electronics knowledge is required for this course. The course is also chocked full of bonus content, like understanding the various types of Raspberry Pis that are available on the market. Raspberry Pi versus Arduino, which one should you use and why? How do you remotely power your Raspberry Pi for your mobile projects? And much, much more. I will continue adding to the bonus content over time. So come join me in the Raspberry Pi Bootcamp. I'm looking forward to being your instructor and hearing about all the wonderful projects you will be building with your Raspberry Pi when we unleash your creativity. Check out the free preview lessons for the class and I can't wait to get started with you.